Hello everyone, this is Captain Tishar with you. Welcome to my channel. So this video is for those people who are confused whether to go for pilot training or not. Uh, they have done commerce, they have done arts, they have done the medical thing and they are not having the physics and mathematics and they want to become a pilot. They have passion for it. They want to come into this field. So this video is definitely for you if you are one of them. So first of all, the audience or the people who are new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and do share this video if you like it. If you don't like it, that's great. So now, first thing first, eligibility requirement to become a pilot, 12th physics and mathematics. If you don't have it, don't worry, don't lose hope. You can still do it. How? That I'll tell you. If you're having uh, arts, commerce or medical background in 12th standard or let's say if you are a diploma holder. If you are a diploma holder and you have physics and mathematics in any of the semesters then also you can become a pilot. You don't need any extra qualification for this. You don't have to appear for any extra eligibility test or anything like that. You just need an equivalent certificate from your college or from your school or from your university which states that the diploma which you have done is equivalent to physics and mathematics of 12th standard that's it so you are done and now to coming back to the people who have done arts and commerce from uh, 12th what you guys can do is uh, the minimum eligibility you need to have that minimum eligibility for that what you can do is you can give the physics and mathematics exams from NIOS National Institute of Open Schooling or any other state boards or any other open boards also there are lots of state boards and lots of open boards available in India which are COBSE approved so C-O-B-S-E COBSE approved boards you need to find out and they do have on-demand examinations which happens every month or every two months or every three months or every four months or some have uh, the schedule like three times a year or four times a year or twice a year they do have their uh, attempts for the examination for the special examinations you can give out of them few gives a uh, few of the boards give you the option of giving only one or two exams also and uh, but not all the boards NIOS gives that option for giving uh, one or two exams but for other boards uh, they don't allow you to go through one or two subjects you have to complete the whole 12th standard in that case so you just need the passing marks which is required for the computer number and to become a pilot in India nothing else no 50% criteria no 55% criteria an airline can have that criteria but the Indian government does not have that criteria of 50-55% marks you just need to be passed in physics and mathematics in 12th standard with obviously with, uh, with all other subjects and uh, you are very much eligible now once you have got the mark sheet once you are done with the exams the verification of that mark sheet upload it get the computer number once the computer number is there you are done that's it means you are eligible the government has issued you your computer number so that means you are eligible according to the DGCA you can apply for pilot training you can become a pilot go ahead achieve your dream it's not at all a uh, what do you say rocket science so if you study everything is easy and if you don't study is everything even ABC is tough if you don't study for the children okay stay tuned for the more updates uh, do hit that subscribe button this is captain Atishara with you signing off